What's up guys, how you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Spurt Scrubber. I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to professionally and quickly balance your DJI RS2. It's really simple and um, I'm gonna show you exactly how. Right, let's get to it. The first thing, put your plate on. Um, Manfrotto plate and your Arca Swiss plate. I use a tilter tool right here. Um, that's what it looks like just to really get that on because sometimes it's hard to do it with your thumb. Um, slide it on and lock it down. What I normally do is I unlock this motor first, right? Um, it is the tilt motor and I check if the camera is balanced on the plate. If it's not, it will look like that or like that or it'll be back heavy like this. So make sure it's more or less balanced. We will come back to the plate in a second. This wheel is really, really fantastic. Um, so it looks good there. Now we're gonna go back to this motor. This looks front heavy. Um, it really does. So we need to attack this bit right here, yeah? On the front. Unlock it and slide it back. Now if we slide it all the way back, you'll see it's back heavy. We want it somewhere in the middle. So our goal is to have it stand up just like that. So it doesn't move. Lock it down, put it upside down. It could use a tiny, tiny, tiny touch more. Oh, too much. A little bit, a little bit. Okay, that seems perfect. Um, now we're gonna go back to this plate right here. Unlock it and just double check everything is fine now that everything is balanced on the tilt arm. Um, yep, seems absolutely perfect. That is what it should look like. We're gonna go back, we are gonna lock the tilt arm. Great thing with these locks. Next one you're gonna attack is this big motor at the back. So unlock it, <sighs> that hurt. Um, hold your gimbal so it doesn't smack around. But anyway, as you can see, it is very left heavy. We're gonna unlock it and we're gonna slide it down. Um, locked it by mistake. That is right heavy now. So slide it until you feel that this camera is not going anywhere. And you gotta... It's, yep, seems fine, okay. Um, so that is your roll and your tilt. Now this one right here, this is the pan motor. It's quite important actually and a lot of people just forget about it. Um, so what this does is that it helps with your panning, so swiveling left and right. Um, now the way to test it is that you get your roll in, lift it up and move it to one side. If it starts swiveling, then it's all wrong. Um, so put it at like a, an angle, like 45 degree forward. It's wrong. So I know mine should be somewhere around 0.23, lock it down. And it's very, very, very minute. Just maybe 0.2. There we go, that's perfect. That is what it should look like. Um, Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unlock all the motors. And you're just gonna basically check that everything is fine in different positions. And it looks really, really, really well balanced. Um, I'm actually surprised at myself, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I've been doing this for years. So press and hold your on button, turn it on, boom. Okay, what you're gonna do next is we are gonna go into the Ronin app. We are gonna turn it on. And we are connected, I think. Yes, we are. Right, go into motor parameters and press auto tune. It is basically gonna tune the free motors um, according to your camera and lens setup, how it's on the gimbal. Um, it's pretty fast, it's already at 60%, um, 80%. It'll make some noises, don't worry about that. And tuned, right, so it's tuned my tilt, roll and pan motors so that everything is looking, you know, good. 
You can also adjust them yourself if you want to. Um, and the next thing to do is a balance test. Um, I do have this on a tripod, by the way. Um, so it's easy for me to get down to 15 degrees, which is where the balance test should be, more or less. Um, 12, 13, 15, there we go. Right, now that we have this at 15 degrees, it's gonna do the test. Um, the test should come out on your tilt, pan and roll. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If you've done it right, that will mean that your motors are completely um, set up for your camera. And they're not gonna get tired, they're not gonna go to sleep when you need your gimbal the most. Um, right, that is the balanced test result you guys should be seeing if you've done it correctly. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And that is basically it. Um, your gimbal should now be calibrated so you can take it off your tripod or wherever you guys are doing it. And um, this thing should now work absolutely perfectly. If you guys have any questions at all about how to balance the RS2, if you've got any problems at all, drop them in the comments below. I'll do all I can to help. Um, if it helped you, give me a like, and there are gonna be a lot more films, especially with gimbal moves and a whole load of cool stuff. So subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.